Moment have just updated their backpack and slings, especially this new four liter sling. I'm gonna get into all the details of these, this 28 liter fully travelable. They have integrated camera cubes available, tons of classy pocketing. And I think the thing I love most right now is this simplicity with just the right amount of tech, like just the right amount of tech materials, performance meshes. I'm gonna walk you through all of it. But first, this episode is brought to you by Wild Foods Co. and their Wild Man Protocol. Listen, I'm a 42 year old man. Hormones change. This has been super helpful for me. Specifically these two, the Wild Man Herbs and then the Bowl Blend. The Bowl Blend's got a bunch of organ stuff that I don't have to eat raw liver to get the benefits of. And the Wild Man Herbs feature Tongat Ali, horny goat weed, ashwagandha, maca, all sorts of things that are known to be beneficial for the aging man for the aging man. Listen, your hormones turn on and off a bunch of stuff in your body, like your libido, your ability to face challenges in life with a little bit of gusto. You team that up with some excellent fats from beef tallow, some magnesium, and then vitamins K and D, and you've got yourself something that is going to give you a pick-me-up throughout your day not just in your libido and in your ability to face challenges, your motivation. It is just, it, it is not the kind of thing that you crash from. I'm sick of like the crash from caffeine. I really love these things. Shout out to Wild Foods Co. Use my link in the description. It lets you know where they came from. Glad that they're supporting the channel. Okay, let's start with these slings. These are the two liter and these are the four liter slings. This two liter sling, Typically for me from moment has been one of my favorite go-to fanny packs and Boom goes the dynamite. We've got these straps on the outside to be able to compress back pockets for some Security from pickpockets. We have a e-reader slash small tablet pocket inside the main compartment It's actually quite spacious. You've got some side pockets and this surprisingly nice padded a little bit of like a quilted look on this, great spot to just throw the phone or get a notebook. Though I do believe this front pocket is where they designed the phone to go. It's a little hook and loop in here. And I believe this is a little AirTag hider guy. Compare that to the four liter sling, which is obviously bigger. And we have a spacious main compartment here where you have a divider. This is all removable. You can just flap it away when you don't need it. A nice solid padded, very rigid, protection here, e-reader or your switch or something like that into, and then more padding up on the front side. Then another pocket on the back here, perfect for your like passport or maybe something you're trying to keep from the pickpockets a little bit more. A wide top pocket. This is where I'm gonna be throwing my phone, right? When I'm wearing this thing. Then rain flap and then a pocket up in here. Why am I just going over the pockets really quick? Just so you get a sense of these things have a lot of pocketing. Like your typical fanny pack, this two liter has your big sort of clipper. This one does not have a clipper. This has what's called an easy glide buckle. Okay, super smooth seatbelt material, which is soft, it feels nice. And then you just kind of grip it and rip it to get you where you want to go. I actually do love on a sling, kind of pulling it nice and tight so it doesn't flop around at all. And then when it's time to take it off, I like to make it big. So I can just do that. There we go. On the four liter, we've got these articulating straps here. Both of them have these utility straps on the bottom, just a little G hook and a little strap here, which can be enough for a lightweight jacket or something on the two liter. And then the four liter, you got a bit more. You could go full tripod. These I like to keep somewhat cinched when I'm not using them because they do tend to flop out. And then you've got a little strap dangle going on, but they also compress this thing down, which is not unhelpful. If you have a bunch of stuff in here, nice to be able to pull it out. Not that much, crank it down a little bit, soldier boy. And then look at all these colors, okay? This navy, the gray, the olive, black. I'm probably gonna be more of a black dude, but uh, I actually do, I always like an olive green. This is possibly my go-to, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, personally, in just a minute. Let me talk about the backpacks first. Let's start with this 28 liter. Now this is the one that goes full clamshell. Okay, you can open all the way up. It has a separate zipper 
on the back, and that's how you're gonna wanna access your camera gear, but it does have a zipper on the front as well for you to access your stuff up here. I just threw some like uh, uh, overshirt pair of pants to give you a sense of the kind of space you have in here. This is 28. They also, I saw on the website, have a 35 liter that has a side door access to your camera gear. This 28 though is like right on the edge of just about, just about too big, but this feels good because the bag itself is very lightweight. Plus, you have a very rigid frame sheet here. These straps, I dig so much. Super simple, just enough contour, and our ripstop nylon going on over here, which I don't believe is recycled, or at least they haven't said that on their marketing materials, but I love this. I love this material. It's not gonna pick up lint and pet hair, okay? It feels really rugged. Like, you're not, it's not gonna pick up dirt. It's abrasion resistant, ripstop nylon, 420D, and it just feels right. Partly because of the material itself, and partly because of these little technical details that they add. Like, look at this. It's almost like welded, folded over and welded, and you've got this nice, just, perfectly detailed flap here on your front flat pocket, which on this one has a big performance mesh inner sort of separator and then the entire pocket itself you can put stuff in, you know? Holler in the comments the kind of things you could put in here. Details like this little handle, just some webbing folded in on itself, very low profile, but there when you need it. Water sealed zips all around. Here's your big clamshell. And then here is your laptop compartment, okay? Which goes all the way up and over, but not all the way down, all right? But you also, you notice that? Nice shape. You ever have one of those bags where you gotta like, dan, dan, dan. It's nice when you can And part of the reason why that works so well is because of this rigid frame sheet in the back. Inside here, laptop, tablet, and then some performance mesh admin bits up here. Nice little detail with this elastic at the top. Fold it over the mesh and have a little ribbon to pull. This is where my charger is gonna go. I'll show you the 21 liter. That's where I've already got it packed out. Handle on the top, nothing on the bottom, but it does have a bunch of structure down here. Water bottle pocket. Fits my 32 ounce water bottle. See this gusseting over here? Very strong elastic, okay? Kind of a little bit of maneuver to get my big guy in there. And then that silhouette that I've always loved on this, where this panel kind of comes down. It's like race car style. But wait, there's more. Little secret safety pocket here on the back. Perfect size for your passport. And while we're back here, just the right amount of, I don't know how you feel about padding on the back of a bag, but I kind of like it when it's stiffer. Keep this middle channel off my back. Luggage pass through right here, it's also indented. Keep this stuff off my back. That's what this job is, and I like the stiffness in this air mesh. Inside the main compartment, using the front zipper, you do have access to this meshy up here. Solid material choice. This is gonna feel good for a long time, okay? One of the things I'm really digging on these moment bags is their material choices. That external material, you're gonna notice and you're gonna enjoy it from the start. You're gonna like it and you're gonna like it for a long time. It's not gonna pick up oil or dirt, right? It feels really good. This inner material feels great too. This liner down here, just kind of polyester -y, normal. You're not gonna interact with it much because even on the inside here at the top, you've got more performance mesh. Of course, we can also access it full clamshell going in like this. Two on the beaver paddle here. I love the way these camera cubes go in. Very easy to get in and out. You just have this elastic pull tab to get over these T-bars. And I don't know if you go in and out with camera cubes very often, I do. I like it when it's not super pain in the ass to get it in and out of. This feels great. Exactly what you've used before, Velcro, right? but I like this red interior and I really like the structure on the outside. Protective for the thinness, okay? They're not super bulky and padded. Still feels really rigid and nice. Same with these inserts. I love the thinness of them with just enough padding 
to protect my gear. And not only is it easy to get in, but I have been impressed by how sturdy it is, like held in by these. It doesn't jiggle around at all. Just killer. To have a bag that you can pull a camera cube in and out of feels great to me. Now, they also have the 21 liter and the 17 liter. Just for comparison's sake, here's that 28, 17, and 21. My preferred is definitely the 21 liter. The 17 is great when you, I mean, this is a fun little bag. So small, it doesn't even have a sternum strap. I don't know if you've ever switched everything into like a small bag. Small bag people, holler in the comments. What are you, what are you using? There is nothing like being out and about and just having a super tight little package on your back, everything that you need. But I need a, I tend to need a little bit more space. Similar to the big one, we've got a flat front pocket with that great welded little seal on the front. We've got a smaller organizer and then a little, another little performance meshy in here. So those are your quick access when you're using this bag. You go over your left shoulder and then you've got access to everything. The argument that this is actually more efficient and effective as a quick access is sound. Yeah, you can do it on body. A lot of quick accesses that I love, I have to pull off the bag, set it down to get that. So we've got a benefit that we can access all this on body. I still prefer the top ones just because I like, I don't know, the visual is, is a little tighter with a flat front pocket. Same padding on the back panel. The straps are slightly softer, which I prefer. I actually like this a lot. On the bigger bag, I like the more, a little more structural padding. It's interesting that they're like, they beefed up those straps. Details. They've got a lot of details on these bags, partly because it's simple enough. Just enough tech. Laptop right here with your half zip. Got my iPad and my charger here. This is where my laptop goes. No little special pocket on the side. Still have that water bottle pocket, which I can still get my 32 ounce into. Then you've got your main compartment, okay? Which does this thing where it goes down to the water bottle and then all the way down on this side. And in this one, I keep a little camera cube. Throw one of my little cameras, maybe an extra lens, maybe my microphone and some batteries. This attaches only with two of these little T-bars here. The zipper's always in the way of this side. So everything that I want access to, like regularly, goes here. Then I've got plenty of space on the side here for one of their tech pouches or up at the top, little performance mesh. Nothing on the back here. Solid, simple, structural enough, especially with that camera cube in there. You got that nice frame sheet in the back to protect the laptop, which is pulled up off the bottom of the bag slightly. And again, this material. Now, compare that to the 17 liter, okay? Everything's the same except for no sternum strap. We also don't have a little secret compartment here, a laptop compartment here. Slightly different where we don't have performance mesh on these pockets, so they're not stretchy. Also, no performance mesh in this flat front pocket. This is just regular liner material here, and you do have another little pocket up here, which is honestly small business cards maybe, man. Water bottle pocket on this side, just like the others. And then inside I just threw a big old puffy to give you a sense. These are those elastic bands for putting on the same camera cube on the side here. And then you've got a pocket here, not performance mesh. So in the 17, you don't get that nicer performance mesh, which I think that this 21 is, is that's where I have to live. The 17 still feels great. Like this would be, I mean, it's just cute. So here is what I, here's, I, I just, I think this product line is very interesting. If you need a sling that is just about camera-able, like when I take my EOS R out with one lens and a microphone, that fits in here. And it's got just enough padding and protection on the front and back with these panels right here. Just enough space, but that is a very slick way to carry around a DSLR. When my camera's in there, I still have several pockets to put other stuff, daily life stuff, keys and phones and stuff like that. But I live out of a fanny pack like this, a hip bag, a waist bag. Sorry, my UK listeners. A waist bag. Do you know what fanny means in the UK? Just enough structure, plenty of pocketing, and then the addition of these little straps on the bottom if I wanted to throw in a rain jacket or something. And then finally the 21 liter. All of these bags have the same material on them. And that is, 
That's the takeaway from me on this. The materials feel great. Just enough pocketing. These actually have tons of pocketing. This has just enough. I, if I had to choose between the 28 and the 21, that is tough for me because I like the extensibility of the full camera cube in the 28 and then the full clamshell when I'm actually doing a shoot and I can just throw everything down. In a bag that feels, uh, I don't know, just like rigid, structural, functional, and it slides under the airplane seat in front of me. I've got everything that I need. It's mwah. So I would, if you're camera oriented, I really like the 28. If you're small camera oriented, this is what I this is what I have liked using most on a regular on a daily basis. It's it's dope. It's perfect size, perfect simplicity. I do have to say that it gets kind of irritating the flat front pocket just because it is it is small. You have to put very few things in here. If I just have my phone in here, then I'm golden. If I just have my phone in there, my battery goes in the top pocket on the inside. I, I have a little tech pocket that I put in there that is like everything's organized and it's just in a, in a pouch. So when I get to where I'm going, I'm pulling out my laptop and that tech kit. That's what I got for you today. That's it. Do we have time for a ramble? I don't think we do. Find care, take care. Find somebody to serve. It might be the devil. And it might be the Lord, but you're going to serve somebody, you know? So let's get intentional with where we're serving. All right, y'all. I'm not sure where that came from. Bye.